Hello, everybody. Uh, uh, welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, boy, I sure hope this one gets out in a more timely fashion than the last one, because that one just hung up on YouTube. Uh, the one with uh, with Recon and the Convoy, it just sat there all day. And uh, well past the uh, time it went live, I, it initially went live, and uh, it still hadn't, it was still at like 380p. It's terrible. So I noticed and jumped on it, uh, hit it, hit the video again. Sorry about that. And then, um, yeah, it eventually uh, rendered about just an hour and a bit ago. It was really, really unfortunate in the evening. So about, so about eight hours late, and I apologize for that, but it's kind of out of my hands. Anyway, here we are. We're at um, Great Falls, Montana, and... Uh, this is pretty cool. This is the long-awaited Mon um, Montana Express Yard by Recon. And uh, we're just going to do a little tour here. And then we're going to head off and get a job. So it's going to be a different kind of job, too. <laughs> You're going to want to stick around for this one. Because let's just say there's going to be some flying involved. Um, yeah, so let's look around. So... We're in uh, Great Falls. This used to be just a field that uh, I don't think Recon took anything out of here to put this in. So we've got a nice little farm there in the background and truck stop over there. There's another truck stop. Oh yeah, let's uh, get boogieing around here. I want to show you something over there. It may become part of the game because we're in 146 still. So Recon's got all this stuff in here. It's kind of cool. Parked. It's the three bay shop with uh, it looks like an add on and uh, here's some new companies that are coming. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. Oh, wait. So Chuck and Jax. Um, Sun Sun Suntetico. And uh, yeah, so this is stuff we're going to see in Texas for sure. And uh, a nice big Montana Express on the building. It's awesome. So we're going to uh, scoot over here. Got a couple pilot cars in front. Sitting there ready to go. Boy, those guys would come in handy if I could only get them to come with me on this job. Another sign up top there. Service out front. Garage management key. And uh, we got, uh, I guess those pilot cars are waiting for that big bud load to get the tire service done on it. So that's kind of a neat touch. And uh, background. So let's, uh, I want to scoot over across the street to show you guys something. Now, I don't know if it's just me and I've never noticed this before, but I think it's something that's going to be new. Go straight. Oh yeah, it's the John Ruda, uh, oh, John Ruda, um, yards, turn right. Freightliner Classic XL. Not any trailer there. But look at this, truck wash. And so imagine this will be coming to the game. I don't know what kind of effect it's going to have, but uh, Recon didn't open this up. This was just something you could drive in right away and uh, bear in mind our uh, our shop in Missoula the Sam salmon's trucking it's it's a one bay truck wash but here's a two bay and uh, yeah you can drive right through it kind of cool all right, so let's uh, not waste any more time here. I'm going to uh, pause the video while I go to the job site. We'll start again from there. All right, so we're back. We're in uh, Pueblo, outside Pueblo at Vista's Power. And we're going to pick up our, our cargo here. So uh, oh, let me put on the uh, frame counter and then we'll get this out of the way. And um, yeah, so... I guess I'll explain the trailer. Um, this is a trailer. I think I was telling you about it once. I couldn't stop laughing. Is 
This is such a crazy trailer. It's just you're going to laugh here when you see what's going to happen here. So before we drive on that dot up there, we've got to put on this trailer in the open position because right now it's in the closed position. So what do you get a load of this? We're going to uh, uh, jump into the menu here. We're going to go trailer manager. We're going to go to this one and we're going to dismiss it. So you see there's there's the trailer. We're going to dismiss that one. And we're going to pick up this one. <laughs> and this is what I was laughing about last time. The fifth wheel's way over here someplace or the kingpin. And the wheels are way back there out of the picture. And so we're going to use this thing. And this is what I mentioned about flying because this thing is just the most impossible trailer you can imagine. And uh, but anyway, it's it's kind of hilarious. So uh, let's put it on the truck. Turn oh, when possible. we're getting trailer damage there. There we go. Look at that for a trailer. Holy. Yeah, we picked up a bunch of trailer damage. Well, it was, I guess I started to spawn it and it was still the original location. So how's that for a long trailer? And uh, the rear wheel steer, so it's going to be handy, but <laughs> we're going to need it. So now we can drive across the uh, icon up there and uh, get our uh, load sorted out. We can't even hear the truck. We're so far away from it. And we're going to have to do the, hopefully we get the skip, uh, the intro thing. And I like the, oh, ooh, so that one, Denver. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to take. And we'll see how many times we've got to get out and fly here at Laramie. Wow. I wonder if that wouldn't be better. No, it's too far. Uh, and there was one earlier I saw up to the uh, Judith Gap. Recon's wind farm here, but it's kind of far for the video. I'll have to do that on my own time. But anyway, let's grab this one. And uh, oh, they're going to try and get us to park and pick up the job, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Well, look at that. I wonder if it is. Maybe we can, maybe we can back this thing up into there. Wow, that would be a kind of cool challenge. Let's see if we can do it. If we can't do it, we'll uh, we'll have to bail pretty early. I don't want to waste a lot of time. Oh, i got to keep the truck over here. I guess way over here because it's going to have to end up swinging out way wide. But see the steering on the back of that trailer, how it steers. All the uh, wheels uh, just turn. The, the axles don't pivot. So let's see what we can do if they're going to cooperate and steer the right way. Yeah, they are. So we don't want to... I guess we can start her. Oh, take it out of there a bit. Oh, we're going to hit that thing. Yeah. Okay, so we got to... We won't try too awful long, because uh, that would be a kind of a neat exercise to be able to do it. Oh, we're kind of rubbing up against that thing, that's for sure. Now we're not. Sooner or later, we're going to have to get this thing straightened out. Uh oh, we're hitting that again. Oh yeah, look at that. We're going to get around that trailer. Oh, the, the parking space isn't long enough. We'll never get a... We're never going to park it. You'll never be able to get the uh, thing into the designated parking. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, wait a minute. Let's not write it off before it's, it's done and dusted. Gotta stop that thing from 
pretty. Oh yeah, it's long enough. Wow, okay, well this can be done. We might as well do it. We're in for a penny, in for a pound. I want to get that trailer to steer over here, so if I steer it this way, it should kick it over. Now, if I want it to go even further over, go like that. I gotta bring it back. I don't want it to go too far. I want to be able to get the truck in here. You know, sort of do a Hail Mary right at the last minute. Try and get the truck in. There we go. Wow, we did it. That's... I'm impressed. Okay. Phew. Oh, parking brakes for the trailer. Don't oh, turn that off. So, yeah. Oh, I should have mentioned it's a windmill blade, of course, for people. What? Oh yeah, there it is. Windmill blade. Oh, look at that for uh, a cargo. Wow. And um, so this is what I was saying about this thing being so long. There's just corners you just can't get around. And we may have a heck of a time getting out of here. We may even have to fly out of here because when I turn left here, those rear wheels are going to steer themselves right into the building. So... We're not out of the woods here yet. Let's, uh, I wonder if I got to steer the back end over here a bit, get the back end going that way. It's just going to come right into the building, I think. Yeah. So rather than mess around forever, we'll just, because uh, I, I did uh, try a U-turn in the yard the other time I was here with it, the first time I tried this trailer. And you can't turn it around in its length in this yard anywhere, so we're kind of doomed to having to... Oh, where'd I go? Put it down right here. I guess you want to make sure... Oh, I'm going to keep this keyboard handy. <laughs> we're going to need it. Yeah, see how far off, just because I was angled a little bit, doesn't matter with a short trailer. But when you put yourself in a new location with this thing, it matters. Okay, so now the other thing we got to do is stay well to the inside of this corner. Because that back end is going to swing out. And we'll try and learn as we go what the proper technique here is. Let's see what it's going to do. On a corner of this. See if we can get it through here. Yep. Keep turning. There it goes. Now we can't do a big correction to the left because we'll steer it into the guardrail, so ease our way back to the middle of the lane. That thing. After 100 yards, turn right. Now we're gonna have to. Last time I tried turn to come right. come out of here, I got out of here in one go, but it wasn't pretty. The uh, trailer was all over those rocks there. Let's see if I can get it better this time. Oh, oh, oh we're taking out signs. Oh, we hit one of those rocks. Sorry about your signs. You might want to rethink the design of your entrance. <laughs> Exit. All right, we're underway. Now, we're going to have another challenge here. I imagine we're turning right here, yeah. After 100 yards, turn right. So, we're... Oh, oh yeah, look in the distance, all those trucks and trailers. Do you see anything familiar? I, uh... I did a uh, traffic skin pack for the AI for three of the AI trucks in the 53-foot box trailer. There goes another sign. I only took one of them. So we're going to see a whole bunch of things. We're going to see uh, day cab 389s with four skins on them. There'll be um, Old school, 
mulligans. Uh, that guy's slowing down. Is he? Yep. Um, let's see, mulligans, old school. Um, Alberta Heavy Hall and Montana Express on the 389 day cab that we're going to see W900. Uh, oh, here comes a trailer in a Montana. Oh, old school over there. Uh, we're going to see. Um, let's see what else. Oh, there's a uh, yeah, W900 in a. Montana Express would be W900 in old school. There's a Mulligan's trailer, and there's a T680 in uh, Montana Express. That's kind of cool. This trailer is really good when you're out here on the road like this. Hopefully this guy doesn't run into it. No. They see they seem to get a handle on the size of the trailer pretty oh I shouldn't get out in that lane. I'll never get back into this one. Um yeah, they seem to have the uh it's really good on this kind of road. And my seating position is awfully high. I'll just ignore it. I just want to stay in here for a bit and get a handle on any turns we're making here. Keep left. Oh, look at this truck. This is the one Recon was talking about. It's a Do looks like a Dodge Ram, dually. Okay, and we saw those motor coaches in that last video, and uh, yeah, lots of cool stuff going on. <laughs> Recon sent me a note today, he says, uh, yeah, he, he, he uh, was convinced that Texas is coming pretty soon, he says, two weeks. Yeah, I'm thinking, oh man, I gotta write that down, and as soon as I'm thinking, I gotta write it down and catch him out. He's that's another note. Well, maybe six. <laughs> so he's hedging his bets, but uh, he thinks it's gonna be pretty soon. And you gotta believe it's happening. Look how cool this is! Like going around this corner here. Like how this. Oops. Like we're not troubling the guys on the inside of the corner at all. With that length, it steers perfectly around there. Oh, there goes a T680 in Montana Express colors. So I got to fix that mod up. It's a work in progress, the traffic mod. Um, the trucks seem to be pretty good. I don't think I have to do a lot to them. Maybe a little adjustment on the stripes over the hood on the uh, W900. Uh, and what else? Um, I would like to maybe put more skins in so thinking of Texas coming up so flatbed brothers um, oh here comes the uh, old school W900 up behind us here it's pretty cool when you see it pulling the old school trailer too when he gets up here we'll see hopefully he gets here before we go under this bridge I'd like to have him in the shot for our uh, screenshot yeah let's do it sorry guys we're going to do the screenshot here and just take advantage of that put it in the screenshot so the truck it looks pretty good like it's got all the uh, W900 I don't know how I did on the hood no I still got to adjust that more and the stripes across the hood aren't going to look pretty anyway it's got a wobbly wiggle in it and I'm not going to uh, kill myself trying to make it perfect because uh, it's a traffic truck. But yeah, there's. Uh, 
Oh, what we gotta do? We get the field of view up out here and back out. It makes the trucks look a little square. They don't look so warped and bent out of shape. And then we'll give her a little focus. Let me check the time of day. That's good there. That looks nice and real. Zoom in a bit. That kills two birds with one stone. There we go. Thanks for your patience, guys. I'm back in here. Yeah, so the uh, the mod with the uh, traffic or AI is going to be cool. So, yeah, I was saying um, Flatbed Brothers, um, black, uh, black Swan for sure, and some Black Swan trailers. Uh, what else we got in Texas? There's that Southwest Motor Transport that I did a whole long time ago. Probably put those in. And then what I'll do, we'll, we'll no, I have the spawn rate at one right now. And if I put that many trucks in, I'll probably want to reduce the spawn rate a bit. It's pretty funny when I was testing it out. I was uh, running around with it at four. <laughs> and uh, that was pretty funny. Oh yeah, and I turned the traffic up to 1.5 to get, generate lots of traffic. So we're driving in a lot of traffic with this big load. But that's all right. Or was that this profile? Let me think. Oh, I can't remember. It might have been. Yeah, I think so. Okay, they want us to get right here, so let's, let's do it. Now we got the, uh, what do I got in here? DD60, I think. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I haven't driven this XL in quite a while. It's really nice to get in it again. Okay, there's our turn up ahead. Next exit is going to be us. So, I think we're going to be fine on the inside, just at the rate that this trailer steers. It's just going to be interesting. Oh, there's a guy coming up the outside. He is going to come Keep alongside. Right after 50 yards, exit right ahead. So we got to get over there. Exit right ahead. Keep right. We have to stay to the inside here so we don't. It's kind of a balancing act here. Wow, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, worked good, pretty good. But that's quite a trailer. This is another uh, Nitro Mods. So we got the Nitro Mods. We got that great big monster that we've uh, done about four or five videos in. With the big heavy loads. We've done the, uh, the other uh, sort of wind farm associated trailer. The one that uh, we took the tower section with in that other video from, wow, can't remember where we took it from, Butte or Bozeman? And uh, this one, this thing's 
Pretty crazy. Keep left. Keep left. Okay. So, so far, this has been really good. We've only had to fly uh, out of the parking spot. I'm really impressed. So that other time I... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Think twice, buddy. Don't run into us. Oh, he did. Oh, you putz. Anyway, it's the other one. And when I left that yard we picked it up at, I had to go left or south at the highway, at the freeway. And when I came off the highway, I had to go off down ramp and under the under the uh, freeway. And that corner was so tight and under uh, under the bridge there was no room. And man, I'm, there were signs lying all over the place and cars in peril. And it was. It was comical, but because I wasn't filming or anything, I wasn't worrying about taking a long time. I just kept at it, trying it, trying it, and just really determined to get it. But the problem was I was going left, and there was a street lamp on the right about 50 feet, maybe 75 feet back from, no, about 50 feet uh, back from the side the T intersection I was turning left under. And uh, so I, there's no way to get it without that trailer steering itself into that post. The way that rear steers, the way you saw, and it kicks itself out pretty abruptly. And just wasn't going to happen. Nice thing, this is a nice light load. You know, 27,005 it says on the panel here. So uh, here in Canada, where I live, this is uh, Thanksgiving right Thanksgiving weekend, and so tomorrow's a holiday here in Canada. After 100 yards, turn right. So for my uh, fellow Canadians, uh, hope you're enjoying your holiday. Turn right. Okay, so how's this going to work? We don't want to get hung up on this guardrail, so going to come in about like this. We're going to have to... That guy goes. We can get up here far enough before we start turning. That uh, might work. Uh oh, we caught it. So... Uh, yeah. We didn't even knock the sign entirely over. There's a day cab 389, old school. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Okay, we've got lots of room here. Should have. Turn left. Nice if this guy vacated the premises in that little red car. Oh, no. A truck. Can I... Anything I can do to keep him back? I guess I'm going to just have to let him go. All right. This guy on the inside of the corner is in peril. <laughs> Let's see. There was a Mulligan's trailer. Oh, look at that. Awesome. I think some time on my own, because uh, he only seemed to originate, the jobs all just originate down there at Pueblo, which is a real bummer. Um, I would like to take that up to Recon's wind farm in Montana, so I'll have to do that on my own time. 
Oh, we gotta go left up here. Oh, don't want to turn too sharp. We'll have that up on the sidewalk. Go straight. Yeah, so... Turkey time tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I guess our, you know, our Thanksgiving is so much earlier than the uh, U.S. Thanksgiving just based on our growing season is shorter. And uh, the harvest is in kind of thing. We're celebrating the end of harvest, of course, Thanksgiving. Okay, here we go. Left turn. Better get out and have a look around us. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Oh, don't stop there. We're just going to stop there. Okay, well, that's not bad. Okay. Now uh, we're going to start wiping out the civilians as they keep coming up there. Well, I probably could have done that better, but uh, we didn't hit anything. I got all the steering done too soon on the rear tra trailer. Okay, it looks like there's a big crane out there on the right. That'll be where we're going. This could be the most difficult thing we're going to do is get it off the road. There's probably a really narrow approach up there. The fence line seems to be pretty far back from the road, so that might be a bonus. Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay. Better look and see how far up this is. Okay. It's that dirt road down there. We've got that big honking area for the trailer to swing into. After 100 yards, oh. turn right. This bus out of the way. Oh, there's a telephone pole there, but this might Turn work right. out. Oh, we're going to hit the pole. No. Oh, <laughs> that guy drove under the trailer. <laughs> Look at that. We did it. Oh man, I'm so impressed. Yeah, I was thinking we we're going to be flying all over the place. No. Yeah, we don't have to turn down there. That's a good thing. That would be a hard one. But we do have to turn up here. Okay. Like a fairly gentle bend, but I'll start steering now. Oh, we'll give her a little bit of steer. Oh, <laughs> oh. I was going to give, I wanted to give the steering a little later so that the rear end is still turning when the truck is around the corner instead of straightening out too soon like this. Oh, it might straighten out too soon. Oh boy. That's kind of what I was worried about, but I think we got it. Okay, good. Now, what we're going to do up here, we're going to, when we um ditch the load we're we're gonna have to do the um get the parking help thing we're not gonna be able to park it and from the last time i did this load oh this is gonna be interesting um <clears throat> the last time i did it when i 
I got rid of the load and I made the mistake of getting back in the truck. And that's a no-no. You don't want to get back in the truck because then the trailer is hanging way out into the field behind you, flying up and down and obtaining all kinds of damage. So what I'll do, uh, once we get the load off and we're in the menu, uh, I'll dismiss the trailer so I don't get in any trouble with it. I'll just dismiss it instead of going back into the uh, just go trailer manager. You have reached your destination. Okay. Oh, I think. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we can't park it. Last time I had to mess around until um, we, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, until I got that um, skip parking. And so I'm going to just take it off the bat. Sorry about that, but it's just the only way to do it. Okay, we're going to hit continue. We're going to go to trailer manager. We're going to go dismiss. And then we'll go with this one. Use. Put it on. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't automatically attach to the truck. So it's kind of goofy because then we got to do. Oh, this thing. Oh, look, at we're way out here anyway. Let's get it. Let's get flying. Why is our truck... Oh, so that's really no good. Because it, it had us way out in the field there. We picked up 7% uh, damage in that. So that's... That's a shame, the way that works. Oh well. <laughs> there we are, guys. Um, <laughs> Thanks for riding along, and uh, well, we saw a bunch of things. Um, the new uh, Montana Express uh, shop that will be coming in the coming days. That was just a sneak peek. Um, this wacky trailer, and some of my skins in traffic. So that'll be a Steam workshop work shop mod at some point in the near future. So things to look forward to, and. Uh, uh, I just want to say again, uh, you know, sorry about the uh, problem with the the recon convoy video. It uh, you know, it was out of my hands, but I mean, it uh, got to be a little frustrating for you guys too, and uh, it certainly was for me watching it all day sit there at 380p uh, and the HD processing taking so long. So lesson learned: if uh, recon and I do another one, which I think we both like to, we'll film it. Early on, earlier on Saturday, uh, and or even you know we'll pick a time when we can both do it and get it up and ready for a nice release Sunday morning, so you guys can you know at least in North America enjoy it in your uh, morning routine on a Sunday. That would be nice. Anyway, apologies. Uh, also, picked up quite a few subscribers this weekend, and I'm very. Uh, Happy about that, it's great. Thanks and welcome aboard. And uh, just appreciate the heck out of you guys, all of you and uh, and gals, just means a lot. Anyway, take care, we'll catch you on the next one and bye for now.